One of my favorite AI tools, Consensus, has updates that I think you'll love, so let's check them out. So when you head over to Consensus, this is what it looks like, and uh, it's got the normal kind of like search bar where you can ask the research anything. You've now got Pro, uh, you know, but it's a little bit better now. It says things like, uh, you know, draft an outline report on, compare the findings between, so you can ask more nuanced questions and it will give you an answer. We'll talk about that in a minute and the response from uh, asking it to write a literature review, for example. But this is the sort of like core feature where you can ask the research its consensus. It kind of like unveils what the research is saying as a whole. You can get lost in the weeds of research and science, but this is a way of finding out what the research field as a whole is saying about the specific question that pops into your mind. So I've got a question. Oh, my voice went weird then. I've got a question that I've been thinking about recently. Meanwhile, does touching your bum hole directly cause bad dreams? Stop it. Get some help. So let's have a look. You've also got this filter, but I recommend you don't touch the filter at this stage because we want to get all of the research we can and then filter it later. There's some new powerful filter tools. I'll talk about those. And then we just click search, bonk, and consensus will go away and do its magic. So what will happen is you'll get a little sort of like consensus thing up here um, if there's enough studies. Obviously, this is a rubbish research question. I'm just having a bit of fun, ain't I? But uh, this is the general lot sort of like layout out. These studies suggest there's no direct evidence between touching your bum hole and bad dreams. <laughs> Oh, that's a shame. Um, but let's have a look at an actual real question and what happens. So here we've got, can zinc help treat depression? And this is the consensus meter here. This is what you would normally get if you didn't ask a rubbish question. But it looks on the surface like there's not much going on. Like we've got yes, 58% of the research says yes, um, possibly 42%. And then if you sort of like hover over here, it'll tell you like most total citations. So this one's got the top average journals and then mixed is zero and no is zero percent as well. But the one thing I think is really cool is you can sort of like click down here, bonk, and you get this, this table that actually delves a little bit deeper into what is going on in the research field. So you can see that here, the recency, who's got the most recent article? Is it the yes camp? No, they're even. So there's no sort of like highlighted one here, 2017 on average there. So these two are even on the recency score. And then we've got methods. So here we've got seven tier one studies. So tier one studies include random control trials, systematic reviews or meta-analysis. And here it's got six. So this one wins by one. Journals, this is a Q1 average. So this this helps you weigh up in your mind just as a snapshot where the research linked in terms of the rigorousness of the research that's presented. So you can see here that this is actually a winner in terms of Q1 journals. That's the highest journals you can publish in. Um, and then we've got citations. This one's got more citations. And you can see then if it's a little bit mixed, if you've got something like this where it's a little bit all over the place, you need to be a little bit more rigorous with delving into what is really going on in the research field. Whereas if they were all just yes, and these were all bold, you'd be like, okay, that's a pretty clear cut review. But if, for example, all of them up here, yes, have got all of the sort of like best results, then you can be more confident that that yes is a real consensus on that research field. Absolutely love that. So let's collapse that back down again. And then also another little thing, you can copy pro analysis. So this pro analysis here um, is just sort of like a summary of the top research articles. And it's really easy to get uh, a uh, copy of that, so copy with citations, and you can see then you can sort of like export this into a word editor of your choice, a text editor of your choice. So then you can just sort of like start working with this information and it's all nice and referenced out as well. So this is a nice way of just capturing those little things without having to sort of like go back to the app if you, you know, working in a different uh, program for your writing. That's also absolutely okay. We can scroll down and then obviously this is the result. These are the actual research articles that they found. And if we click on them, what will happen is we'll be taken to the individual paper page and you'll get much more detail. You get study snapshots as well, generate snapshot. Um, you get a load for free as well each, uh, I think it's sort of like every fortnight it seems to be that they update. And then searching seven study attributes in the paper abstract. And so you'll get a nice little study uh, snapshot once that's done. You've got the abstract and uh, you'll get citations and everything else underneath as well. So absolutely 
love all of that. Another thing you should know about is their filter function. Their filter function is really powerful. What I recommend you do is you start with a broad search with no filters, and then if it gives you something you're not quite sure of, you can go in and filter out the science that you actually want to know about. So here you can see you've got all of these filters. You've got published since, which is excellent. This is a new thing here, exclude preprints, so only show peer-reviewed papers. I think that's very important if you're going to sort of like try to um, give the most robust argument you can. Open access as paper, and also we've got methods, which I absolutely love down here. You can just make sure that you're really referencing the best studies to give you your consensus, journals, domains, and also country. If there's a certain country, you know, that you're studying, this is going to be very important for you. For me, it doesn't matter in my field, but for some fields, that's going to be very, very important. So those filters are helping you develop the strongest argument for what you want to say about this question. I absolutely love that. And there's something more you need to know about consensus. With the pro feature, you can ask awesome questions, not just about the consensus of a research field, but you can ask it to do something a little bit deeper. Check this out. So here we've got political philosophies of Thomas Hobbes and John Locke. So compare the political philosophies. And here you can see it's created a response. It's completely referenced. And if we click here, it'll take you to the references. Absolutely love that. So now consensus is starting to become something much more powerful than just yes, no, maybe. It's giving you stuff you can work with. Check this one out. You know me, I love a good literature review, me. So here I've got outline of a literature review on the positive impacts of nuclear power on climate change. And then you can see it's given you an outline. It's got introduction, role of nuclear power, and this, you know, it's a great first start. But the important thing is not only do you get the um, different steps, you also get the references that you could potentially include. Is it sort of like the final literature review? No, but it's a great first start and you can be assured with all of the filters that you are actually referencing proper research that has um, good grounding in your research field. So this is why I like it is this filter function here. You can make sure that you're not just sort of like referencing rubbish journals, you're not referencing something that's preprint, that you're not referencing something that just doesn't support the rigorousness that's required of you as a researcher and scientist. So I love all of that stuff. Yes. And consensus is a little cheeky add-on. We've also got support for multiple languages as well. So go here to settings and we've got this language, English, and you can see it's got so many languages. You can work in so many languages. That's great. Let's turn it to Persian because that's what I'm learning at the moment. Salam, man, Andy Hastam, Chekhabar. Absolutely love that sort of stuff. All right then, was that any good? I have no idea. Okay, and also you can see you've got incognito mode as well. There's so many things you can do with consensus. I think they are updating it so often with awesome new features that researchers actually want. Go check it out for yourself. If you like this video, go check out this one where I talk about getting published in Scopus Index Journals. I think you'll love it because after all, after consensus, what do you want? You want to put all of that information into a journal, boost your academic career. That's how you do it. Go check out that video.